everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Molly, and today I'm going to be doing just a quick little fun reaction, something that hopefully will be of interest to True Detective fans or Game of Thrones fans, um, especially those of you who are big fans of both, like me. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I just finished watching and reviewing and reacting to the fantastic opening season, season one of True Detective. Um, which is good. It's setting me up to go into season three, which has just started. But also, you've probably heard me mention and probably have been able to figure out, maybe just from checking out my tattoos here, that I am a gigantic, obsessive fan of not just the Game of Thrones TV series, but the A Song of Ice and Fire book series and the whole expansive universe by George R. R. Martin. So, knowing that, a friend of mine has recommended a very quick YouTube video to me that is supposed to kind of combine these two things, um, and it is by an individual named Robin Linquist. So perhaps some of you have seen this before, but if not, it's basically seems to be he took he or she, I'm not really sure actually, Robin could be both, so he or she, Robin Linquist, took um, the kind of opening credit style from True Detective Season 1 as well as the song that was used in the opening credits, which I really like, by the way. It kind of gets stuck in your head and has this really uh, moody feel to it. Anyway, point being, took that and then used it to create a Game of Thrones opening. So imposed images of Game of Thrones and, and I, I assume the various credits um, into the True Detective style. So I've been told that this is extremely good and that I'm going to love it. So I thought that it might be fun to just watch it together and react and see what we think. All right, so without further ado, let's check out um, Game of Thrones intro True Detective style by Robin Lindquist on YouTube. Oh, Viserion. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, tree is appropriate. Wow. Okay. Um, that was fantastic. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. I don't know how many of you guys out there have any experience with video editing. Um, you've seen my extremely limited capabilities and experience <laughs> with my reaction videos. Um, I can basically do the most simple things in terms of audio, in terms of playing one video over another, cutting things, um, very, very simple rudimentary stuff because I, I've only been doing this for a couple months and I, I'm not very, not trained at all and don't have good software and, but, but those are all my excuses anyway, but that was amazing. Like I can't even imagine how long that took. I mean, it just seemed like everything lined up so perfectly with the music, all the different images, and like how some of them were overlaid, so like 
like the it like the the thing of, with Bran and and the Weirwood tree was crazy. And then at the very end there you saw Stannis Stannis with the horns. So Stannis is supposed to be like the Yellow King here. Is that what's happening? I don't know. But given the Baratheon and the horns and Stannis's perspective on things, I, I don't know. I pretty much loved that. That was fantastic. A great choice. Um, yeah, I think I have to watch it again right now because it's very quick and I think it's kind of hard to pick up on things. And right now, some things are standing out in my mind, but I want to see more. So let's watch one more time. Here we go. I think it's interesting you put Amelia Clark first and then Peter Dinklage and then Lena Headey before Kit, but I like it. The tone of the song and like the images are. Oh, that scene with Davos. I love it. But yeah, the tone and the images are appropriate. So cool looking. <laughs> From Hard Home. Nice he threw in a, or she threw in a little uh, reference to George, credit to George at the end there, but yeah, all right. So it was just as cool the second time through, guys. Um, I highly recommend you go and check this out on Robin Linquist's page and subscribe or support, bring your support to him or her because that was phenomenal and I feel like everybody in the world who likes True Detective or Game of Thrones should be watching this or even just people that really like um, well edited cool videos because that was so good so good ah. and okay I also would just like to add that obviously these are very different kinds of shows it's very different content and and maybe people might feel like there's not a lot of overlap in them but one thing that does strike me is that George R. R. Martin has said that you know his underlying theme and what he loves most to write about is the human heart in conflict with itself so you see his best and most powerful characters represent that and if you think about it to a very large extent that could also be seen as an underlying theme and, and central central running theme of True Detective for all of the main characters. I mean, obviously, particularly Rust, but really, really all of them. So there is definitely some connections there. And then obviously the mystical undertones, but that was just so cool. I'm so glad I watched that. Thank you. Thank you to my friend. <laughs> you know who you are. You're awesome. And um, yeah, again, check out Robin Linquist. I'll leave the link down below so you can go watch the original video. Like like the page, subscribe, give all credit where credit is due, so. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully I will see you next time for the next video. Bye.